Welcome back, everyone. So, I have a new least favorite mob in the game now. And it's from this Tales of Kingdom mod. If you will recall from my Better Than Buildcraft series, I particularly did not enjoy the skeletons at all from basic vanilla Minecraft. Now there is... Well, you'll see them in a moment. Because they're burning down my forest. Yeah, that's netherrack over there. Okay. I wonder if this r little pond is still full of stingrays. Lovely. There's water currents now, thanks to those guys. Alright, let's go ahead and come up from behind. And I can try to get the high ground, but. I know it's not going to do me any good. Oh, jeez. There they are. Fire spreading black archers of death. I'm being hit by two. Shit. No. <sighs> so, those are my new least favorite enemies. <laughs> I hate them to death. It's obvious I'm going to need better equipment to take them out. But I don't have better equipment yet. So I guess I'll just let them burn down my rainforest. My jungle. You know, I'm declaring myself a new rank. I am a jungle shaman. Oops. Which is our first step on the path to being a mage king. My little shack looks just, it's just a pathetic sight compared to that. Damn it, wrong button. Okay, so I'm going to leave those guys alone for now, because one, it's night time. Two, I don't have the proper equipment. I was just going over there with one sword, because I already knew that I wasn't going to be able to take them out with a stone sword. So I figured I wouldn't one, I wouldn't lose much. And I might take out one. Which was not the case. Not the case at all. Hey, there's one of these things. Let's grab it. I have no idea what to do with it now. So yeah, this is the long walk of shame I do every time I die until I get a new bed. Well, until I get a bed, even. <sighs> I'm failing at jumping. There we go. Home sweet home. It's got a nice little leaf canopy roof. And I have a marvelous view of the guild from here. Alright, let's get up here. Up. There we go. How do you like that view? Something, isn't it? And then you look over that way and you see the burning forest. Although the fire spread isn't major, so this place is pretty safe. And you look over there and I think
think there's another group of those guys that way somewhere. Uh, yep, there's another rack behind this tree. Let's get over here. There, now you can see them. In fact, um, I need to look up a control quick. Oh, yeah. There. <laughs> I My eyes are magical. They're like binoculars built into my head. Okay, that's enough. I'm pretty sure that's an Optifine tool. Which, I've used Optifine a couple times before, but not never really extensively. Uh, what do I want to do while... Oh, I do need a lot more paper. I don't need to plant any trees. Mm. I have no idea what to do right now. I'm just sitting here thinking. Oh yeah, I found this earthen crystal in this jungle, so I'm hoping I can find a lot more of them. And I actually need to look up how to make ore out of it, because that you can put on the wall and it will grow. So, dawn is coming. We are not going to go back to fight those guys yet. Ow. Balls to it. Oh no, Dontry! Ugh, oh, thank god. That would have been very embarrassing if I had died on that tree. Anyways, I need to get some iron, because I need to make a little bit of a fast way up to my tree. Or, I mean my shaman hut. Yeah. Now, about those crystals. I can't do a damn thing with them yet. But, I'll be able to do stuff with them sometime soon. Oh dear, where was that hole? There it is. Uh, wait, this is not the hole I was looking for. Oh well, it's an adventure. Uh, hello there, Mr. Skeleton. I have absolutely no fear of you anymore. Well, for one, you just completely disappeared. <laughs> this magic makes it a little bit unfair. Mmm, precious gold. Now you're now you're deciding to come over to say hi? Well, too bad. Dang it, magic wasn't back yet. Huh, I knocked a gold coin out of him. Oh, two of you. Okay, time to run. <laughs> Uh, get me the hell out of here. Huh? You got, ah, you got me. Okay.
then hide, gotta hide, gotta hide. No. Ah, a jerk. Oh, there it is. <sighs> I was doing well, too. <laughs> One hit from my arcane bolt, and he would have been dead. I need to get me some more magic. Oh, seriously? Another one of you? Another one? Okay, he was technically dead. Well, he is technically dead. Wow, I was nowhere near you, Creeper. What the hell were you thinking? This place is a little bit hectic. Now oh, you can see where the guild formed. Ooh, crystals. On, break, break, break. There we go. Hmm. I didn't even realize it was brighter down here. Let's see, there's also light over here. Is it? It is green crystals. I'm going to have a decent supply when I actually am able to use these things. Alright, come on. Give me this iron. Oh, good vein. I like it. Very good vein. Amazingly good vein. Basically any I... Oh, jeez, no, no, no! <laughs> uh, ooh, special guy. Fear me, for I have magic. I don't care if you do a 360. Ah, nothing special. Anyway. Oh, I think I've been distracted to say, trying to say way too many different things. Let's get out of this cave, then I can actually start talking straight instead of fighting monsters. Alright. So basically any ore vein that I find, any iron ore vein that I find that has more than eight becomes amazing and exquisite then awesome and it just continues on until I say it's a perfect vein of ore. And I think I was saying something about the mobs dying and continuing to fight. It's this Tales of Kingdom mod. They will start bleeding money and they will continue to move for like a second or two after they start. Once they start bleeding money, they are technically dead. However, the programming is a little bit buggy, it looks like. Hmm, there must be a cave underneath my tree. Wait, is this my tree? No, that's my tree.
Wait. I don't have enough stone. Crap. I, I admit I'm a little scatterbrained. But partially I do with all these new mods I'm using. I'm just excited. Magic is one of the things that I thought Minecraft could do pretty well, considering its diverseness that it has already. I mean, you have creatures that can teleport, living dead. Yeah, I got the tree. Living dead. You have creepers. That's per that's fairly unique. All right, let's get some iron. And I'm gonna need to get some vines. Oh. Sorry, Zodi. My cat's under my desk, and I keep on accidentally putting my foot in her face. It's not really the best place for her to be. Achievement get. Okay, vines. Need the vines. Good thing I have these easy to access vines right here. Where did that? Whatever. <laughs> I'm not even going to try to understand why that was making the placing noise. Hmm. That's kind of weird. Alright, I'm not pressing the forward button at all. I'm just getting sucked towards these vines. That might have something to do with smart movement. Yes, it does. Look at that. I'm near vines, so I cling to them. And then I climb them. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, cat. Her name's Zodi, by the way. My cat. That's Z O D I. Zodi. Not Zoe. Zodi. Alright, so I can get up and down to my house easier now. It's just a straight climb. Hmm. Let's see, toss these crystals in here. I almost have enough to make an earthen crystal ore, which is useless. For now, it's useless. What it does is it lets you place a crystal formation on a wall or the ground, and maybe the ceiling. I don't know. Now, the crystal formations can grow up to six crystals. And you have to break them in order to get the crystals. You might be thinking, what? But you need more than eight to make one of these things? You're going to make a loss on those. Well, yes, I will unless I research a specific item meant for harvesting crystals without breaking the formation. Unfortunately, I don't have the means to do so yet which is why crystals are largely useless for me right now. There's also these 
damn trees that are so common in the forest. Not the forest, the jungle. That I have no idea what to do with. Hmm, what should I do? What should I do? I should not do a high dive. I should eat some steak. So yeah, I'm just gonna toss this stuff in here. I'm really tempted to go try taking on those guys again, but not that tempted. So I'm gonna I'm gonna search for berries. a zombie. It's a creeper. <gasps> Sheep! Sheep, I need you. I need my shears. <laughs> I'm so excited to see one sheep. Come on. That's one thing I'm going to have to do with this jungle. I'm going to have to make some walkways through the trees. Hmm, you know, I think I'll actually make bulb-shaped rooms. Kind of like what's on my the server I'm an admin for. One of the admins for. We have a giant elven tree with pine cone like rooms. Uh, where's my shears? There they are. Basically, it's a large tree. In the trunk are shops. And there's little wooden rooms that hang from the tree limbs, which people live in. We're actually close to being done with the map, but we're changing the map size to about, I don't know, four times bigger. Okay, how do I get down? These vines look like they'll work. <laughs> I love you, smart movement. Ooh, three wool. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to go back to my house. I, I wonder... Ooh! Climbable. But then you get to here. Ah, there we go. Look at that! That's brilliant. I can actually climb the vines like a rope. I love that. You have to be holding the grab button to do that, which for me is control. And there's also a I guess sprint button. For me, if I press the tab button, I will move a little bit faster. 
and it's more than just sprinting, it's also swimming and climbing. Hmm, where am I going to put this bed? Eh, whatever. There we go. Take a nap. Take a drink. And feel good. Now, find berries. Okay, I found some turtles. I broke my legs. <laughs> yeah, you can turn these guys upside down. Why is he missing legs? Why are you missing legs? He's still missing legs. <laughs> okay. A turtle with no legs. Well, two legs. This has been a pretty boring journey, actually. Some roses. Not finding any berry bushes. Ooh, 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 ooh. There is some reeds. We need those reeds. I hear a rat. Yep. That's a rat. It's not even worth my wooden sword. Ah, oh, hello, Wisp. Um, Kitty? Kitty took out a shark. Is that a cat? What the hell? Um, <laughs> okay, there might be a texture glitch. Did that shark eat the wisp? I am so confused right now. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to leave. And pretend that I'm smart. Um, I don't know how to pretend that I'm smart. Well, anyway. Uh, hmm. Nothing exciting happened on the way back, other than the Wisp and Shark, and the weird textured cat killing a shark. Okay, I think that's enough reeds planted there. You know, I haven't gone this way yet. Let's find out what's this way. Ah, huh, one of these things. 
Okay, that is a thom slime. They're supposed to appear in areas that have a high aura concentration or something. I can't tell how high of an aura things have, but I guess that's a good indicator that that is a pretty impressive one. Um, right. So there's apparently some weird texture glitch happening here. And up. I'm just going to walk away because those things can kick my ass because they're a big cat. Which explains a little bit of why that one cat was able to take out a shark. Well, actually it doesn't. Seriously, how the hell does a, I don't know, panther cub, tiger cub, whatever cub take out a shark? In the water. If it was on land, yes, that could happen. In the water, how? Oh dear, more of those guys. But big berry bush field. Mm. Okay. I wonder. Nope. Doesn't do anything. Although I'm getting three each time. Oh, there's one. Okay, I'm going to go away now. I'm not a coward. I just know when I'm going to get my ass kicked. These ones are safe. They're a reasonably safe distance away. Yeah, I'm not going to waste my shears. I'll just be satisfied with whatever these give me and not test if shears give you more. Is that more of them? Oh my god, look at how many there are! Alright, let's just keep going this way. I see more bushes. We need those bushes. Night's going to fall soon, so I'm going to be sworn by zombies, skeletons, maybe some ghosts. Hmm, look at all these bushes. I might have gotten lucky with how many I've spawned. Oh my god, a baby cat. That could mean that mama cat's nearby. Hey, a village. Wait, this might be, um, no, it, it looks like a normal NPC village. Good. Good. I, I like you guys. You guys are fine. Oh, that is, that's good. That's not good, creeper. That's not good, skeleton. Have some magic. Have some more. Hmm, my magic bolt can deflect the arrows. Aha! I fear you not in the least. 
not in the slightest. Oh, I need to go back and make some delicious mana draught. There we go with the dead guy attacking thing. But Axelbert, they're dead all the time. I know, shut up. Um, that's a wild wolf. That's a special zombie. Which I still fear not. Ooh, a bar of iron. That's good. It's very good. Free iron's good. You know, I've been going ooh a lot since I started these mods. It's a rat! Kill it! Well, unfortunately that one village has to fend for itself for now. Oh hey, there's another one of those obelisks. And there's some berries I missed. How did I miss those? Oh, no you don't. You're not getting my berries. Fighting uphill against a creeper, never a good idea. Ha! Victory, I claim her as mine. I'm a lot more bold when I have magic. I consider that a good thing. It makes for a little bit more interesting LP. Oh my god, I'm lost. There's an orange glow over that way. I shall investigate. Oh, hey, you can jump backwards. That probably is a smart movement thing. Hi, chicken. You scared me a little. Aha! Some more V's. Ooh, tainted V's. There's some more this way, too. I don't have torches. Oh no. Oh no. I heard howling. Okay, you guys hear that large, loud growling, right? <laughs> That's a werewolf. And it's nearby. And I have a wooden sword that's about to break. And I'm getting the hell out of here. Super sprint! I'm not tangling with a werewolf when I have no way of defeating it. Right now, I'm just going to take my precious berry bounty home and make myself powerful. Oh, look, another one of those. Wow, they sink like a rock.
die, scorpion. Oh, I missed. Oh, sounds like there's a ghost nearby. Oh dear, I'm poisoned. And now I'm being attacked by a thon. I have no sword. Uh, I'm going to stay at the end tonight. And I'm also going to end the episode here. So, I hope you guys have been enjoying. Leave a comment, subscribe to see when new episodes come out. And give me a like if you feel like. I will see you guys next time.